Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. It is Friday, June 24th. So it's been exactly two weeks since I split hive number 18 and did a 50-50 split and moved the top to number six position and left uh, the super and a deep here on number 18 and I've given it an additional deep box and it's the one that is there that is all bearded up. So yeah, <laughs> not looking forward to going into that. So uh, it is uh, about 7.45 and the bees are not flying hardly at all. And normally this time of day, uh, there's quite a bit of flight so tells me our nectar flow is pretty much come to a almost a stop there's always some coming in but not like you know the big big flow that you have in may in the first part of june so all the bees are in the boxes and that's really not when you want to be doing an inspection but i really got to get in these and check them out so it's been two weeks exactly since we've done that split so we should see a queen, maybe not a laying queen, but uh, we should see a queen in there. I'm gonna start on number six because it's the least populated and uh, it's, a, it's a single deep. So uh, we'll start over there and check that out. So if I feel like it and feeling a little cocky, we'll go ahead and we'll try number 18 there. So let's get started. Okay, here's hive six. Man, look at these two. They are all bearded up. So we've got us five supers there. I think, I know four of them are packed. Uh, that one on the top there, I think it's full too. And uh, I didn't under super that. I just stuck an empty one right on top. All right, let's get in this sucker. And look, new gloves, yay. Uh, these are man lake gloves. They got a vent up here, but it's not like this material. So you can get stung through this. So you want it up above your sleeve. And I got extra larges because I've got big hands. And these are like Andre the Giant extra large. There's like space at the end of my fingertips. Even when I push it clear back all the way, there's space. Especially on the thumbs. I get this little flappy thing on my thumb. So I should have got larges. But I've already worn them and they got propolis on them, so there's probably no sending them back and exchanging. A lot of bees up here. They could probably use another deep by now. So if they're doing well, they got a good queen, we'll get them another deep and uh, that'll get them in to the fall flow where they can put some honey uh, up above my single deeps are doing well that I put the honey supers on I just got to make sure they've got plenty to eat coming out of coming off of this uh, it going into this dearth and going into winter getting into the fall don't want to starve them out all right we'll start here on my left frame number one they don't seem angry they seem like nice happy bees that's the kind we like this is a very heavy frame it's a uh, all honey capped set this aside and we can get going through there and start our queen search All capped honey and there's a bunch of pollen right here so hopefully that's all yellow pollen we'll uh, be into some brood right here next to it get my queen clip on the ready that's a good way to jinx finding your queen <laughs> or get out a marking pen So there's brood here, a little bit of pollen, but nothing fresh. 
So this may be from the prior queen, but we'll keep an eye out for her. I'll uh, get my light now and uh, look for some eggs. No eggs on that side. No eggs on this side either, I don't think. Looks like my smoker went out. So this hive had some queen cells in it when I made the split. This is all capped brood here. This has all been laid up, but I think this is from the prior queen because if it's capped, it's going to be that age. Our queen will just be laying eggs right now and, the, and those larvae shouldn't be old enough to be capped at this point. And I do see larva here fairly young so this could be from our queen our new queen yeah it's got to be Let me show you what I'm looking at here so right up in here there's real young larva and that can't be from an original queen. Well, it could be if the original queen was up here and she didn't swarm. But we were assuming this was a queenless hive. So, there is a good laying queen in here right now. So it could be one that hatched out and mated. Or it could be there was a virgin queen in here. I would say that's more likely that there was a virgin queen in here that I didn't see before and she's mated and is laying and that's from, from her. Uh, for a queen to have emerged, say the day after I made the split, two weeks later, that might be pushing it a little. See if we can spot her. This is all laid up with very young larvae. So we got us a queen in here that's taking care of business. Really, that's all we need to see. We could get on over to hive number 18. Let me just do a quick look on a couple frames and see if we can spot her. And if we do, we'll get her marked. We'll go one more. This is all nectar here. We're not going to see her out here. Well, no, here's a, a brood frame. That looks like a queen hot spot right there. No, she's, well, yeah, she's laying on that. Right in here, she just started laying. Well, Let's get over to Hive 18. We know this is queen right and this is good. They do need a, a second deep to get started on that. So that'll be the next, uh, we'll do that next time we come back to this hive. We need to do it uh, fairly quick. Okay, here's what we're facing. <laughs> So I'm going to get that super off of there and then we'll just pull some of those uh, frames there in that top deep and uh, see what we find. Someone left a good comment uh, about when you remove a super. I had been pulling them off with the excluder and moving it over. Uh, the comment was, hey, leave the excluder down there because your queen might be on that excluder when you, when you move your super off. You could have moved your queen off. I'm not going to open this super. I'm pretty confident it is full. Ugh. Wow. Well, so I don't see a ton of bees right here, which is kind of good because that'll make it easier. 
So this box here, I think, is the one we added. So this is all new comb to them. Looks to me like they're not taken to it very well. That's strange. There's not a lot of bees up here. Yeah, look down in there. I mean, there's a few on some of those frames. Like out here on the edge, but in here? That's odd. I figured they'd uh, take right to that and fill that up. So if that's the case, our queen is probably not going to be up top. So they've put a lot of nectar into this one. Uh, same here. They filled that up. That's completely full of uncapped nectar. I can see uh, me going down into this bottom box here in just a minute. Uh, full of nectar. Full of nectar. If I remember right, this was uh, honey bound as well. No, that was 16 that was honey bound. Maybe, I can't remember. Yeah, this is full, full, full of nectar. We had us a heck of a flow after I did this split. I think most of my supers were full at that time, so I could have, if I had more supers, looks to me like I could have been getting a lot more honey stored up. I just ran out. <laughs> Every one of these has been full. Here, this one's not. So this wasn't a completely drawn out frame. So there's some empty on the side, so if it wasn't drawn, they didn't mess with it appears. Or maybe they're all over on that left side. This is drone comb. Nice big fat round cells. And uh, they're putting a little bit of nectar in here. There's a little bit of weight. I'd say this frame's about a third full. This one needs drawn out more, but they are putting a little bit of nectar in there. That's undrawn. This is getting heavier. All nectar. <laughs> this is just a big old honey super up here is what it is. There's no brood at all. So if we got brood, it's going to be below. This one's almost full. Okay. Okay, we're going in. Wish me luck. This is going to be heavy, too. Not as bad as I thought. Honestly, that honey super weighs about as much as that. That's an undrawn frame. And this one they're drawing out. I'm gonna shake these off just so they don't get all outside of the hive over here. Sometimes you set a frame down like that, it's covered with bees. They start getting over on the other box. And if your queen's in there, you might lose her. So that's kind of why I did that. So this is mostly nectar frame here. A little bit of pollen in there. Quite a bit of pollen on here. Let's see, we've got that uh, insert in this bottom. If I get that out of there, it'll give them some more air. It might be stuck. There, I got it free. Quite a few bees on this thing. So that opened up that screen bottom for them. Maybe they won't beard as bad now. And this looks horrible here. We got us a drone, looks like drone laying going on. So there's laying going on. But they are drones. Here's worker brood here.
So here's what I'm seeing. See how that's all sticking up? So a lot of that's drone brood. But another thing I see here, so keep in mind you're looking at this upside down. So see these little spots right here where there were cups, there were queen cups. Right there, 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 there. So they pulled down some emergency queens off of this, which is interesting that it's the same spot where there's all those drones. I've never seen that before. So when you see drone brood like that, it means you've got a queen that's not fertilized or she's at the end of her life and uh, she doesn't have any more fertilized eggs to lay. If it's a new queen, she didn't get mated well. If you're out of brood and you've been out of brood for a long time, it could be laying workers. So here's some cells here. Here's one that's just opened not long ago, it appears. No laying activity in this area. I see a virgin queen. She is right there. Come on, focus, sucker. I lost her. She was right there. Oh, there she is. Those bees are on top of her right there. They're not attacking her, but... So let's get out of here. So the fact that there's a virgin queen in there, they're still sorting things out. Man, can you believe I spotted a virgin queen in all these bees? That is a miracle. So there very well could be another queen in here and uh, they just haven't chosen one yet. That's a good thing about a 50-50 split, when you've got a lot of bees, a lot of resources, and multiple swarm cells, your odds of getting the queen are a lot better. Oops, I don't need that yet. What am I doing? <laughs> if I had a lot of brood down there, which I don't, I would uh, pull a brood frame up, put it right here in the middle. Caromba, that's heavy. Oh. I want to look in here. I want to just pop the top on this super and make sure there's bees up here protecting it. Yeah, we're good. Because last thing I want is ruin a whole super with high beetle larva slime in it. Okay, we're queen right over there on number six. This one we found a virgin queen. I pulled out this uh, screen bottom insert, give them more air, so maybe they'll work more into the hive down there. This one beard is pretty bad. Uh, I don't care for these anymore because when I do my oxalic acid mite treatments, it doesn't make a good seal and a lot of vapors escape, and I want them all to go in the hive and kill those mites. So. I'm switching slowly to uh, solid bottoms. But yeah, this hive has a good chance. We got honey off of it. We got a, it's a jam-packed super, I know it is. And uh, that's a good thing. So we'll uh, come back and check on it and uh, give that virgin queen or what other queen is in there with her in a couple weeks to uh, get mated and uh, make sure she gets back and is laying. Uh, if not, we can uh, combine them back, put six back over here if we need to. But uh, yeah, this is good. So that's it for this video. I'm going to try and go do those nukes now before it gets too dark. So uh, that'll be another video for the next one. So give me a thumbs up. And uh, man, we're, we're closing in on 10,000. I think I'm like 170 away or something like that. It just ticks up about eight or nine a day. <laughs> But anyway, it's kind of neat watching that. But uh, 
give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and help me get to that 10,000 if you would and uh, we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video y'all take care